Alright guys, um, let me see what we got here. Real easy to see. Okay, here's the old one. And there's the old plug. Let's see, yeah, look at maybe not even in the shot here. Let's see if I can get you all over soon. Hey, I see the plug. Okay, the plug, um, white wire goes the inside, orange wire goes the outside, which is like white wire goes the inside, orange wire goes the outside right here so on the new one we're going to cut my plug and my green wire is going to hook to my white wire orange wire is going to hook to my black wire on my new setup Okay, we'll come back after I get it clipped and installed and I'll show you how this thing bolts back up in here so you know how it comes back out. Okay, and my lighting's gonna go bad here because I've gotta use both hands to do this. I'm just gonna leave the camera on. Wish there was a way I could stand my... I need to strap my light to the top of my camera just like that. <laughs> little tactical light hook to the camera okay guys so I'm gonna cut this and just butt connect it up actually I could probably do this let me um, show you how this thing installs there's one screw on the far end down here. This is the only thing that holds it in right there. You have um, a little slot over here on this end. It lines up. Get it I can use my hands. It has a little slot right here that it slides into. You don't see that? There's a little, little pocket right here that um, this little bracket right there slides into um, <clears throat> and it also comes way out like this so okay I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off connect it back up Gonna skip by this part. Uh, they don't give you much of a harness here to uh, pull your wires out of. These are some itty bitty wires too. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my sensor. Or not sensor, my um, valve, so I can hook it up the way we want. Green. <clears throat> Green went to the inside, which was white.
I know a lot of you guys don't like these butt connectors, but they work fine. They don't lock the moisture out. I should have shrink wrapped it. If I have a problem, I will repair it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in. <clears throat> Give me a flashlight. <clears throat> Here's the slot. Okay, are we gonna focus in here? see this slides in over here get over here where y'all can slightly see this Just push it into place until it pops, and you're pretty much done with that. Make sure you get it in your slot, like that, and then you come back over here. And you got your one bolt comes from the top down. Get it started. Put your tube on. Make sure trash ain't around it. The inside's not full. And it's just a push on. This has a. Uh, I don't want to flip it over too hard, but. It has a finger push-in tab. You push it in and it releases these two tabs right here. See how they spread out? And that's how you just pull it off. Well, when you go to put it back on, you just line it up straight and push it on. And that's it, we're done. Tighten this down. This is a 13 millimeter. And let me see what I do with my wrench. Here it is. Okay, that was a quick, easy job. There's no need to uh, go to a dealer. I mean, this is something pretty simple. And we're done. We'll um, go in, clear the codes, take it for a ride, see what happens. All right, guys, stay tuned.